It is that time of the year, everybody. Cedar Fair Parks will be announcing what they'll be getting in 2016 very soon. So, this video will be about what the parks could be getting, what are my predictions, and just a heads up. No Cedar Fair will be getting a Triotech Dark Ride for 2016. There was a statement by Cedar Fair in an interview that not a single Cedar Fair Park will be getting a Dark Ride in 2016. But they do plan to have every single Cedar Fair Park have a Dark Ride sometime. So we're going to start with Michigan's Adventure and work our way up to Cedar Point. Let's get started. So, of course, like I just said, we're going to start with Michigan's Adventure. I see one of two things happening. I see either a new flat ride because they haven't got one since 2013, and they do keep up with flat rides. So they took a year off in 2015, so I definitely see more something on the line of, who knows, a scream and swing. But then again, Sea Fair has not resolved their issues with SNS. So maybe a small drop tower, or who knows, maybe a small wind seeker. I don't see a true wind seeker, but maybe a small wind seeker if not just some family rides or who knows this is going on a limb a new planet snoopy they do not have a planet snoopy so i'd love to see maybe a planet snoopy come to michigan's adventure if not they do stay true to their water park so maybe another water park expansion will be likely so now we have California's Great America, and what they'll be doing is they'll be giving Vortex the Rougarou treatment, which means they'll be converting their stand-up train into a floorless train. Cedar Fair is deciding to give up every single stand-up roller coaster. They started with uh, Sky Rider, and then it became uh, Mantis. So basically, all the Togo stand-ups will be removed and demolished, and the Beanham stand-ups will be converted either into a floorless train, or if that park already has a floorless coaster, then a Beanham sit-down, or just a Beanham sit-down if they don't want the Beanham floorless. But either way, Vortex will be the next one to be getting the Rougarou treatment. And this will be very cool because this will be the third Beanham floorless coaster in California. That will be whatever Vortex will be renamed, Scream at Magic Mountain, and Medusa at Discovery Kingdom. So this will be great and we'll also have the first uh, Cedar Fair Californian Park to get a B&M Floorless Coaster. Valley Fair. So I see one of two things happening. I just mainly see park improvements going on for 2016. Although maybe a new flat ride. Um... The last one they d got was a wind seeker, so I'd like to see maybe another flat ride come to this park. Some people say a water park expansion, but they just got one last year, and Cedar Fair doesn't do consecutive years for water park expansion, so I don't see that happening. Maybe a new entrance, but I just, I really don't see that happening. I just see park improvements or a new flat ride. Okay, so now we have Worlds of Fun, and this is a little bit tricky, but what I see happening is a water park, a huge water park expansion for Oceans of Fun. The last thing they did was in 2013 when they gave it the Hurricane Heights Sly Complex and also made Oceans of Fun free with the admission to Worlds of Fun. So I just see another water park expansion or adding some new kitty rides to their Planet Snoopy. Dorney Park, so out of all the Cedar Fair parks, I think this is the one that's actually going to be taking a break, besides just doing overall park improvements. I don't really see anything happening. I think they're going to be building up for what they could be doing for either 2017 or 2018. I can see a new roller coaster then, but for now, I just see park improvements so they can build up for what they're going to be spending for Dorney Park in the uh, upcoming future. Knott's Berry Farm. So, a flyer or a sheet was sent out saying that they'll be uh, trying to revamp or do some stuff to the ghost town area of Knott's Berry Farm. I mainly likely just see Ghost Rider getting some retracking. I think they're just going to uh, spend their attention on Ghost Rider since it is a pretty rough wooden coaster. It's the only wooden coaster, so I definitely would see some a lot of retracking, a lot of improvements just to make the coaster a lot better. But I do not think it will be RMC because here's the thing. Sea Fair will not be doing anything with RMC for a while. That's another thing I'll be talking about that when we get to the Sea Point one is that I don't think Sea Fair will have to do um, with RMC for a very long time. Plus, RMC is busy, so I don't see anything happening. 
Canada's Wonderland. Okay, so they've been doing a lot of construction in between the Canadian Mindbuster and Behemoth. A lot of people say that, oh, there's going to be something, a new BM, B&M Wing Coaster. I think that'll not be for another year or two, and they haven't been really doing anything around Skyrider, so the uh, Skyride area, so I definitely see, and I'm going to go on a limb here, I think a new show theater by the mighty Canadian Mindbuster near the water park, so who knows, a water park show or something have to do with water, maybe they'll get uh, a brand new cool show that hasn't been at a Cedar Fair Park yet, I would love to see that, I'm just going to go on a limb here for that. Alrighty, we have Carowinds, and this is a plain as day, we some stuff has been leaked and we already know what the blueprints will be it is a huge water park expansion we already have the name filed uh, a new trademark name filed called Carolina Harbor so I'm guessing that's what the new water park name will be like it will no longer be called Boomerang Bay of course we already know that they're gonna get a Hurricane Heights style attraction the slide complex we also know that they'll be replacing a wave pool with a kitty splash area, a new water park entrance, and also a new wave pool to replace the old rave wave pool. Alrighty, King's Dominion. So lately, we have some blueprints that were leaked by the KD fan site. So basically, what's going to be happening is in the old Shockwave area, since Shockwave is closed and they're going to be taking it down, I can see a pipe screen. We don't know what it is, but we there's a new flower right going to go in the old entrance of Shockwave in that area. So maybe a pipe screen or some other family rides. Who knows? They might explain Plant Snoopy and add some more kitty rides to the Plant Snoopy. And also, what it said was a new paint job to the bad apple so that would be cool to see alrighty we have King's Island so a lot of rumors have been swirling that King's Island is going to be getting a giga coaster soon or a new roller coaster or water park expansion um, I don't see a roller coaster coming to King's Island for a while and a water park expansion that was they just added Soak City, or they did Soak City back in 2012, so I don't think it'll be a while before they really add some other stuff to Soak City. I see a water park expansion either 2017 or 2018. Now, as for 2016, I just see overall park improvements, and what I'd like to see, like they did at King's Dominion, is revamp the fountains at King's Island. Um, I know they're a little bit outdated. They haven't gotten a lot of revamp in a while, so I'd love to see a new revamp to the King's Island fountains and make it a whole lot more cool so we are at the flagship park we are here for cedar point and we all know what we're they're going to be getting they're getting a b&m dive coaster they're getting the tallest longest fastest b&m dive coaster in the world and it's going to go right next to raptor but but it will not be called valraven Remember the accident that just happened on Raptor where somebody had just jumped over the fence and then was hit by one of the trains on Raptor? Well, since that incident, Cedar Point has abandoned the name Valraven. The name Valraven is associated with death, and since somebody just died at Cedar Point, they did, they did not want to have another Banshee slash Mantis incident back in 1996. So, they have abandoned the name Valravin, and right now Cedar Point has no idea what they're going to name their B&M Dive Coaster. Um, no names have been trademarked yet, so we have no idea what the name will be. And also, they have moved their announcing date. Um, we don't know when it will be, but we know it will be for a couple of weeks since of the incident that happened on Raptor. So, be prepared to uh, not have the announcing date for quite a while now. So... Another thing has been going on where a lot of people say, well, besides the BM Dive Coaster, we could also see an RMC hybrid to Mean Streak. That's improbable because Cedar Fair has disinclined to do anything with RMC. I'm sorry, guys. It, I, I hate it that it's true, but only expect RMCs to be from SeaWorld, Six Flags, and the Hershen family. I don't see anything other RMC, um, and I don't think Cedar Fair will do anything with RMC for a while. At least they have GCI, so at least be happy that they do stuff with GCI. And this is a sad thing for me too, is that they're no longer with Intamin. Cedar Fair is only now with B&M, 
Mac Rides, and GCI when it comes to roller coasters. So, that is my prediction for what I think the Cedar Fair Parks will be getting in 2016. Thank you all for watching, and as always, Coaster Fanatics, keep coasting.